I usually don't edit for you, but start that one <laughs> All right, well, the tents are set up, and we're going to go do a little bit of road cruising and hiking because uh, it's really hot. Alec did flip a Black King, so we're going to take a look at that. He flipped it right here by camp, and then we'll go let him go. All right, y'all. Well, here is the Black King Alec found. He got here a little bit before us and uh, did a little bit of poking around and rummaged this guy up. But that is a beautiful snake. Really good looking black king. And I wager we will be seeing plenty more of these hopefully, so. All right, we're gonna let Alex King go back under his board. That is a great looking snake. Hopefully there's more to come. Good to, good to do the thing. Good to do yeah. the thing doing time. Here we go, dude. We have snaked. It is a red-bellied snake. Look at there. First cruise snake of the night. I'll get one as well. All right, dude. Now to the road time. The road is so nice and warm, dude. Tell me when you're ready. I'm good. Let's see what he's packing. Pretty, pretty standard red belly. You know what's crazy? We have found a snake that looks just like that in South Dakota. Well, it's been a while, but we finally have our next snake, a little smooth earth. Maybe 30 minutes after dark. It still feels really good out here, but I think it just might be a little bit early in the year for snakes to be crossing roads here, so at least at night. But we'll move this guy across, maybe do a couple more passes before calling it a day. <gasps> oh my, my god! god! <laughs> so... That is only our, what, third, third live snake, snake of the night? And it's probably the single rarest thing we're going to target on this entire trip. A Scarlet King Snake in Tennessee. That is nuts. That is just obscene. Look at how much white it has. That is so insane. And we've seen some pretty cool Scarlet Kings on the channel this year and in previous years, but this is probably the rarest one. In fact, I don't really have much hesitation calling it the rarest one we found. Because this is just the very, very fringe of their range. What was that? The leaf coming at us. Oh, it is? I thought it was like an owl in a tree or something. For the release. Alright, this guy is on the other side of the road and we're going to let him kind of slip into this log if he wants to. And he does. Picture. All right, guys. Well, uh, we're eating food in the tent now because there's such an ungodly amount of bugs outside right now that uh, if we were to try to eat outside, we would just be eating more bugs than food. So yeah, and that's <laughs> not an exaggeration. I was really eating bugs about five minutes. Ago. Yeah, <laughs> crunchy ones. And it's it's not even May yet, and there's this many bugs here. This place is kind of crazy. Yeah, but uh, also my headlights have stopped working, so we're just in a pretty bad place other than the fact that we found a Scarlet King snake in Tennessee today. So we have a lot to deal with tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up without a foot. All right, everyone, well, it's the morning and it's just pouring rain and it doesn't appear that it's gonna do anything but pour rain today, so. I think today we're going to kind of take care of some problems we have, such as the fact that my headlights in my car aren't working, and uh, probably try to catch up on sleep in a hotel, because tonight kind of sucked. So, uh, oh, it's Alec. Good morning, Alec. All right, everyone, we have reached our destination in Tennessee for the day, and we're going to be walking around in the woods for a couple hours to start off the day. There are a pair of mating racers right here. They just, did they go <laughs> under the log? Yeah. That was cool. There's a random piece of flip. No idea how this got here, but I'm not going to complain about it. Graham! Rattlesnake! He's inside the barrel. You hear him? <laughs> well, 
there's our barrel rattlesnake. <laughs> Had I known he was going to be this crusty looking, we probably would have just left him in there. But I think this might actually be my first timber rattlesnake in Tennessee. Not nearly as nice looking as the ones we saw in Missouri, but he is deep in shed. It would probably be a pretty handsome snake with a fresh shed. Um, but we're just going to get some quick photos and return him to his barrel. All right, buddy. Let's, uh, I'm going to be coming your way. Yes, 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 be good. Trust me to return you to your home. There you go. You know where you're at? If you go, yeah, you can go over there and you can go inside. Very cool. All right, we just found our next snake of the day, who's in the water right here. I got him. Hello, hello. So, uh, snakes are kind of tough. Look at that. This guy has a grievous injury that has healed, and his tongue is kind of coming out the side hole there. That is gnarly. I've never seen anything like that. All right, buddy. Here you go. Come on. Towards the water. Towards the water. What are you doing, dude? There you go. Straight into the bush and then into the water. Well, here's the first one of these for the day. Possibly the only one because we're going to be moving on to another spot pretty soon. This is the first southeastern crown snake we have seen in Tennessee so far this trip. Here's our next racer of the day. I don't know how well y'all get to see the first two because they kind of dipped. But uh, he's cooled up right there. We'll just leave him to his business. There's another Tantilla. Look at that little guy. He is in shed. Oh, wiggling his tail. That was odd. Here's the first ringneck of the day. I think they're back into Mississippi ringnecks in this area. No more prairie ringnecks. Another new fossorial for the day. A little worm snake. We're back in Midwestern worm snake, so let him go back into his log. Looks pretty good. There's a house to our up in there. Oh my Get him, God. get him, get him. He's in ants. Holy Heck crap. yeah, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, we got to get the ants off of him. Well, that was a great flip. Graham spotted those boards out the window as we were driving by. And underneath was a beautiful big black king snake. Here in Tennessee. In a new county for us. A place we've never herped. That is about as big as I've ever seen a black king snake, I think. That is awesome. And we got the flip clip. What a guy. We'll take some photos and put him back. Woo. All right, back to your board stack. And they're better than the rocks in the woods because they're out here and they're not, they're actually getting warmth. Hey, there we go. Little black king. Oh, that's a king, dude. I thought that was a racer. Oh, look who was ready to shed. Looking very fresh and shiny, and without as many blemishes. A very good looking snake. Solid black, black king snake. Possibly our last snake of the day. All right, bud. Here's your rock. What are you trying to climb up on me for? Go under. Next to this dead wasp. I realize where he's at. No? No. So that no. Probably. You want to get that in just Yeah, I just don't think this is the way to do it. Up. Yeah, I think it's going to have to come up. Oh, you want to do it that one? Yeah. Otherwise, it's going down the hill. Uh, no! Scarlet snake! Scarlet snake! Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! I thought it was a milk! 
Dude! <laughs> Holy cow! That thing is beautiful! So, uh, that is a scarlet snake. That is the, we have now found every tricolor in Tennessee on this trip. We got a scarlet king, a scarlet snake, and a couple of milk snakes. That is nuts. That is so ridiculous. These guys are definitely one of the more uncommon snakes in Tennessee, and I don't think it's necessarily because they're rare, but rather because they're pretty secretive and uh, they definitely have some peculiar uh, tendencies that once you figure them out, they can be a little easier to find, but uh, really just a beautiful snake and always something I'm very excited to see under a rock. I've been seeing so many milk snakes over the last couple of days that my instincts were just, wow, there's a tricolored snake. It must be a milk snake. Even though when I think about it, this kind of Zarek habitat we're in right now is definitely more scarlet snakey than it is milk snakey. Although there probably are both here. But that is just such a fantastic snake. I wish the light was better, but it's definitely getting dark on us here, so not as vibrant looking as it is here in real life because the colors just aren't gonna come out in this fading light, but such a great looking snake. All right, buddy. There you go. That is so fantastic. You can see this soil is very, very loamy, very pliable, which is uh, one of the requirements for the species. Well, as predicted, we're walking back almost in the dark, but I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. What a way to end the day with a beautiful Northern Scarlet Snake here in Tennessee. We're gonna head to our hotel, crash, and uh, be herping Alabama tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching.